Hey guys, welcome back to the Church Mac Unprogrammed series. Now, if you don't know anything about the Unprogrammed series, you get five minutes to talk about anything church tech or even nerdy related, completely unedited. Here we go. So, if you guys have been following me on Church Mag, you know that I talked about wanting to get a new phone, things I wanted to see in a new phone, frustrations about the limitations of the high-end market with some features not being represented because I don't know why, others just not featuring the best hardware out there, and so it really was frustrating to get through that process. But one thing I will say, and I don't want to rehash everything I had said before, one thing I will say is I had the Note 4 before, and I don't know why, but my battery decided for about three months to keep a charge for about an hour, hour and a half. And then I had this frustrating situation where I went to a conference, I was away, and for two days straight, it decided to keep a charge for about 10 minutes. At this point, I would given up on trying to use my phone effectively, and I knew I needed to get a new phone. And this whole idea of what could best be used went out of the window completely. I had the option of an iPhone. I had the option of getting the new Note 7. Um, there were issues with that. I didn't want an iPhone. Um, I had just come out of that OS, and I loved the Android system. Um, but the Note 7 was blowing up, literally. And then there was the Nexus phone, which was available at the end of October. Maybe, who knows, see what's announced. And now my phone's acting up now. So what do I pick in this process? And I was concerned about this idea of getting the best phone. But one of the things I found out as soon as I got the Nexus 7 is this ability to upgrade, this ability to get the hardware that's going to work for you is absolutely essential. I know a lot of churches out there that are worried about the spending of the budget and so they're willing and frustratingly working in something that is just not working well. I know that I have my Mac laptop here that just is not working well. That's why I upgraded to my PC. We don't use a laptop very much anymore and I, if I do want a mobile option I'm probably going to go with a tablet and a, key, a wireless keyboard. But the idea of being able to upgrade the system and now it is completely robust absolutely flies through video edits. It's actually doing one right now. What would normally take about two, three hours to edit takes about 20, 25 minutes. My phone lasts a whole day and just the insight that that can do for you to completely change things absolutely helps. And I want to take this from a biblical perspective because this idea of working in a machine that just does not work for you and waste your time is not being a good steward of your resources. Your time is a precious resource. Same thing with the gifts and tithes that are given to you about upgrading to a new device. So be smart about this, but don't just dwell in not spending money because your church budget is tight. I encourage you, I deplore you to try to go out on a leap of faith. How many times in the Bible does it talk about you need to have faith in this process? Church technology works in a ministry that has high budget items and so we sacrifice the performance, we sacrifice the capacity and we limit the opportunity to share God's word even if it's from a simple editing standpoint of what we possibly can do. How many times have I heard a church say it would be so nice if we had a GoPro for our youth ministry. It would be amazing if we could use a drone just to create a great church uh, commercial. The idea of our soundboard is okay, but we wish it was great. Just don't have the budget for it right now. Why not try to have that faith and go for it? I encourage you guys to use your resources well, to take that ability to upgrade when it's appropriate and be good stewards of not only your finances, but everything else that is given to you. Church technology, you have a lot to own in this process. I encourage you, I beg you, to seek and be faithful in that process. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Am I off basis? Is the money really the issue? Or how do you get over that barrier for yourself? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.